Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a master file so you can have many projects in one place that have been worked on by other people and also how you can use that master file as a resource pool so that these files can tap into the resources that are part of this master file. So on the screen, I've got two files, Software Implementation 2023 and Develop Strategy. They're separate files and you can see them sitting here. Now they are linked in to the resources on this master file. This is the resources. So let's assume that I'm the boss. These are my project managers running these two projects. These are the resources that we've got. And these resources are only the resources that we've got. So what I can do now is in this file, if I want to, I can take over and allocate resources. I'll put Bill on that, checking he doesn't go over allocated. If he goes on this one, let's see if I can get him to go over allocated. So, it, so he's already gone over allocated. So I'm doing this in the master file. If my colleague, who's the project manager for this file, did the same, he would also go red in his file. So if I open up develop strategy you can see it's gone red there come back into the master file so what I want to do is recreate this structure show you how I've done it and do it from scratch so I'm just going to get rid of things and shut things down and start from a blank file so I've created a blank file called it main 2023 I'm just going to type at the top there master that's going to be my title and before I bring any of the files in, I need to create a resource pool in this file. So I'm going onto the resource sheet and just quickly type in Bob, Bill, Ben and Anne. Short names so I can type them quick. And then they can both all be on £10 an hour, £15 overtime if they get overtime. So that's my resources. Just save that for a minute. Go back to the Gantt chart. Now, I don't want to do anything just yet on this because what I want to do is go into software implementation, which I've got open. At the moment, hasn't got any resources. I want this file to use the resources in the main file. So we go to the resource tab, resource pool, share resources, and then use. You've got different options there, the files that are open, but this is the one. Use resources from there. Click OK. And then now I have that resource list sucked through into this file, as you can see there. So now I'm just going to allocate a couple of people to tasks. So install software room one, let's say Anne does that. And install software room two, let's say Bob does that. I'll just do a couple, uh, one more. Training, Ben can do that. So that's that one, that's software implementation with its resource pool attached. Now I'm going down to develop strategy. No resources look on the Gantt chart. Same thing, resource tab, resource pool, share resources, use from the main. Okay, that will suck it through. There we go. And then we can start allocating people. Now this is where it will go red people will go red if they're over allocated so if i put Anne on that one okay she was all right on that one because it's there but if i put her on this one let's see what happens there she goes red because she's already on a task on that other file so i'll put somebody else there i'll put uh, ben there and take Anne off so that's okay and then i'll just allocate somebody else bill like so i'll just leave it like that for now now I'm going back to the main file. So I want to bring those two files into this master file. So I now need to go onto the project tab, add sub project. So software implementation, I can find it. There we go, I think that's the one. Nope. Twenty twenty three. that's the one. And then develop strategy underneath that 2023 that's the one so now if i indent these two 
underneath the title so I'll just indent them in and then if I open them up you get the information appearing there if I just double click on the white on this master file and go and put the resource names uh, take the resource names off and put the name task name on you can see the things there now what I can do from this file so my project manager working away on this I can also work on this so I could say okay I want um, Bill to do that Bill was okay to do that and then if I want to use Bill somewhere else so that was on this task so let's put him on train teams hands on it at the moment but if I go and put Bill on that that should go red this is gone over allocated so I can't use Bill for that and this is how you can then manage your projects because people the project manager themselves if they're working away in these standalone files which they would probably be doing they could make this um, selection and it would go red on their file it would also go red on this file so you would see it as the manager the overarching manager if you then did it you'd have the same issue so because you're the boss you can say Bill can do this and he can't do that so it's up to you you are the, the person in charge so you are managing the resources and you're also seeing how the project sits all this all the sub project sits underneath this overarching timeline which you've got across the top there so this is just a very quick video of how to create a master file with embedded project files and how to use that file as a resource pool as well so you get the best of both worlds if your project managers save a baseline so if I go into software implementation and set a baseline set baseline okay and then just go to the um, tracking Gantt so you can see that Tracking Gantt, so you can see that there. If I do the same in Develop Strategy, Project, Set Baseline. So remember, Baseline is a line in the sand. And then if I go and get that on the screen on this one, if I can get my mouse to move across. Tracking Gantt, so they've both got them displayed. And in the master, if I go to the Tracking Gantt view, in the master file you can see the baseline like so and then if there's any updates if I go into software implementation and let's say um, I'll change this to the tracking table because that's good practice um, tracking so those are the actual the actual start dates there so if I say this starts on not Friday the 13th but Friday the 20th that should push everything forward and you can see it's left the baseline markers behind if I come back into the master file it's showing the same information in there so you can manage the whole series of projects and that has actually caused some over allocation of resources so that's actually caused a bit of a problem and you'd have to fix out you could level resources and things like that so I will just do that actually, I'll go to resource and just level all, so we've got some red men, if I go level all, it's sorted it out and you need to now to know where that's moved, so the different sort of Gantt chart you can put on there to see the movement is go to view, other views, more views and then in here there is a leveling Gantt, a leveling Gantt view there she blows apply that and it should show you where it's moved so these so it's split that task really the computer's done that and you can see the movement from there so if I point to this pre-leveled task so what you need to do there and you see that see what see where it's moved that is affecting these sub projects so you'd have to go into the sub projects and make sure that that was okay Otherwise, you're going back up to um, resources and clear leveling entire project. Okay, and then that brings it all back. Put yourself back to your normal Gantt chart view. 
just go down here and do that and then you've got to sort this sort things out with your project managers for these people are obviously over allocated but that's just a, a short little video on how you can create a master file with sub projects and how you can utilize that as a project pool as well so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one